George, let's take a look at your recent putting videos and uh, Sam Putt Lab results. So here on the left, uh, we can see that your eye alignment looks very good at address. That's going to help you get that base square at address and be able to look along the target line correctly. Uh, as far as alignments go, it appears as though you've got your feet a little bit open, knees fairly square, hips fairly square, but then it certainly looks like your um, your arms are a little bit closed at address, which is also going to make uh, or give you a tendency of having the shoulders also a little bit closed. So prefer to see uh, you know parallel alignments all, with all parts of your body. Um, and then good to see that you've got your arms and your shaft in a straight line, the trail arm and shaft in a straight line here. That's going to help you with your face on path. Um, but I would certainly like to see your back a little bit straighter. That's probably also going to help you make sure that you have a good connection between your arms and your shoulders with a slightly straighter back. So we did some video of that later on that we can compare. And um, then we can see that your head position uh, forward a little bit higher than your chin, which I think is a good position to be coming from. And then as far as your bend from the waist goes, somewhere between 110 and 120 degrees is around about the norm on the PJ Tour, so you appear to be around 110, 111 there. Not too bad. Okay, and then face on, ball position looks quite good. Uh, it looks like you've uh, got the ball located somewhere between the center of your stance and your left heel. That can be a pretty good position uh, to be consistent from. Uh, but with the left hand low grip style, it's going to mean that uh, the elbows are going to tend to level out, the shoulders are going to level out, so that's probably going to mean that there's not going to be a lot of rise angle in this putter head in its uh, um, angle at the moment of impact. So we'll look, look out for that on the sand putt lab. But that's probably something that uh, I wouldn't change uh, in your address position there. I think that looks, looks pretty good. There's no need to make any drastic changes there. So now let's have a look at uh, your, your uh, putting action. Uh, we'll roll this through. So it appears as though that follow through uh, is going a little bit out to the right. There's a, a little bit of a loop in the backstroke and then the stroke bar certainly appears like it's going. Uh, a little bit out to the right. So if I attempt to draw a line in there, we're going to see on the follow through that the putter head is definitely swinging outside of that line on the follow through. And that's probably going to be because of the club base getting a little closed in relation to the path on the backstroke and forward stroke. So we're just going to see a little bit of a loop here and the putter head waving out to the right a little bit. And I think that's just going to be because um, if the putter face was pretty square at address, it's going to come back um, a little bit closed because it's getting closed to the path in the stroke. So let's have a look at uh, face on now. The swivel of your head looks good towards the target, so we're going to get a good idea of where the target actually is. Uh, just looks like there's a little bit of disconnection there. Uh, with your arms, I'm seeing in the follow through. So that's probably also going to help you keep that part of head a little bit lower. So I just try and make sure that you keep that connection between your arms and shoulders um, throughout the stroke. So let's let's have a look now at uh, the Sam Putt Lab results. So at address, you actually aimed the putter face really good at only 0.6 of a degree open uh, and with very high consistency. Then you came back and you had the face a little bit closed, so there's a bit of a change in face from address to impact. Uh, and this change is going to mean the face is going to be closed, and that's going to require that the stroke path actually swings a little bit out uh, from in to out to compensate if you're going to get reasonable results. So three degrees out to the right is a little bit too much. Uh, impact spot, a little bit inconsistent, a little on the toe. And then again, here with your rise angle, it's saying that uh, the predicted spin would be backspin, and that's just because the rise angle is not quite up enough. It has a little bit to do with that um, 
you know, left hand low, but also with, um, you know, you're disconnecting your arms a little on the follow through. Uh, face rotation's quite good here, especially around, uh, around the hitting area. So 10 centimeters before impact and 10 centimeters after. It's closing at the same rate, which is a good sign, just a little bit inconsistent. Here we, we see the face is closed in relation to the path. These blue lines indicate closed to the path, so um, the vertical lines showing closed to the path, stroke path going a little bit inside out there. Okay, and then uh, that will give you a summary. And um, stroke mechanics, they're rating to 74 and a half. Uh, consistency could be improved there. Up, you need to get that up in the 80s, and then overall rating at 68.3. So there's definitely some things to work on, but uh, let's do a, a comparison now between uh, where we were at the start of the session and where I suggested that you get into a posture at the end. So we can see quite a big difference here in uh, your posture now. You've got your back much straighter. You've actually got the spine angle, uh, the vent in the waist almost exactly the same. You've still got your eyes over the ball. We used a putting mirror here to make sure that you had your shoulders uh, square at address. So that felt a little bit different. Uh, and then we saw that uh, when you actually made some strokes with, um, with a, uh, a mirror to help you with your shoulder alignment at address, that Indeed, the stroke path improved quite dramatically. So um, we're not seeing that putter head swing so much inside out now. Now it's just tracking back a little on the inside on the backstroke and then then um, coming back to the ball, uh, traveling in a good path at the moment of impact. And then on the follow through, at the end of the follow through, we can see that that part is just swinging a little to the inside. Ball starting nicely online. So really important that you uh, continue to practice with some feedback where you know you've got your, your eye position good, uh, you've got your putter face square at address, um, you've got your shoulder alignment good, you did tend to have those shoulders and arms a little bit closed, and then um, you know if you can make some strokes, and, and especially under something like a string line, you can see that the ball... It's starting in the right direction. That's a big start to uh, improving your putting. You've got to get that ball started online. So work on those things, and uh, I'll see you again soon, and I'm sure you're going to get uh, improved results in your putting over the, the near future.